For most of this tutorial, I'm going to be using universal mouse mode, which can be selected by clicking on the white arrow here. I find universal mouse mode very convenient because when I place the mouse cursor at the bottom half of an object, it allows me to select or move that object. Whereas placing it in the top half of an object lets me draw in a range. So it has a dual purpose function. Notice how the cursor changes shape depending on whether it's placed at the top half or the bottom half of the track. It takes a while to get used to, but it's well worth doing so in my opinion. I have done a tutorial that looks into mouse modes in greater depth. So to select an object in universal mouse mode, you need to left click in the lower half of the object, and it will change colour to show it's selected. Clicking in an empty space will deselect an object, and you can control left click to deselect as well. The default colour of a selected object is orange, although this can be changed by pressing Y to open system options, then select Design Colours to make any changes.